Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Tuesday, August 7th. And you can see outside the window this morning, we got some pretty dense fog down here at Ransom Road. And again, patchy, but uh, in areas, very dense fog under a quarter miles. And then you go other places and it's not too bad. So do be careful if you're out there on the roadways this morning. This fog should lift fairly quickly. It may get worse before it gets better, but we expect it to burn off quite quickly. And again, a reminder, Agro Expo coming up next Tuesday and Wednesday from St. John's. And you can go to the website to check more on that. MAC will have a booth at E133, and I'll be giving away a couple of uh, Kokoros rain gauges. So stop by and say hello. And if we look at the headlines for today, possible thunderstorms very likely across southeast lower Michigan, becoming less likely as you head up into south central and central Michigan. And again, uh, even less likely once you get into central and northern lower Michigan. But there's a caveat there. Uh, with some of the afternoon sunshine in areas to the north, we could develop quite a bit of instability and we may see some pop-up thunderstorms and some of those could produce some locally heavy downpours. But again, by far, the majority of the rainfall will be across southeast lower Michigan over into southwest Ontario. And if we look at the uh, climate data for today, you can see with the video in the background, you'll see the rain that we did get yesterday. We had a high of 78 and a low of 70. So overall, a little cooler than normal on the highs, but well above normal for the lows. And we're now running about four degrees above normal so far for the month of August. And we had 11 hundredths of an inch of precipitation, as you can see that fell here. The state high, 88 degrees at Detroit and the state low, 57 at Copper Harbor. As far as conditions this morning, mainly uh, uniform temperatures in the low to mid and even upper 60s. The warm spot at Lansing at 69 and the cool spot at Lakeview at 62 degrees. As far as precipitation, you can see the bulk of the uh, rainfall since midnight has been across southeast lower Michigan and some isolated uh, light amounts across uh, portions of mid-Michigan. And again, we'll see uh, more showers and thunderstorms continue for this area across the south. And if we look at the uh, satellite view, you can see an also a thing we're going to watch for later on this afternoon is an upper air disturbance across the Dakotas. And that's going to slide to the east, and right now it's producing some showers and thunderstorms across portions of Minnesota and those may move into the area and you can see all these uh, big development of uh, showers and thunderstorms over the last eight hours across southeast lower Michigan but especially into the Ohio Valley and again with another wave moving up that front we'll see uh, again increased chances of showers and thunderstorms producing locally heavy rainfall across southeast lower Michigan and on the radar why you can see right now most of the activity is now off to the southeast with that secondary wave coming up along that front, we expect that to come into south central and southeast lower Michigan and over into southwest Ontario here over the next uh, 12 hours. And if we look at the weather map this morning, you can see that stationary front ever so slowly being pushed south. But as long as we have waves of low pressure, that'll keep that front moving quite slowly. So again, with it nearby the area, showers and thunderstorms likely across the southeast part of the state. Just some scattered activity as you get up into mid-Michigan. And finally, by tomorrow, that front begins to push it off, uh, off to the east. But again, we're going to be in a kind of a pattern where we could see instability around. Again, no cold, dry push of air coming in from Canada. So pretty much what you see is what you get the next several afternoons with uh, pretty high humidities. Temperatures low to mid-80s. Any sunshine could develop afternoon instability that could bring some showers to the area. As far as how much precipitation, you can see quite a range anywhere from around a tenth to maybe a quarter of an inch across the northwestern portions of the MAC area and to the north. But look, at you get down southeast lower Michigan, between an inch and a half and two inches might be possible in some areas there. Again, there could be some locally very heavy rainfalls throughout southeast lower Michigan. As far as weather watch this morning, as Al would say, not a whole lot going on. So a pretty uh, overall pretty uh, calm pattern where as far as big storms goes. If we look at the forecast, over the next five days, mainly low to maybe mid 80s with lows in the 60s, quite humid with afternoon thunderstorms likely. Again, very likely widespread thunderstorms across southeast lower Michigan today. And again, so a very summer-like pattern coming up uh, over the next five days. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day and 73s to all.